Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 3, Episode 14, Dog Pound. Or, hold on, The Dog Pound. Part 1 and 2. Part 1. Transported to the Dog Pound. <sighs> Guys, I made an invention that could transport us to Dimension X. To stop crying once and for all. Great. You coming, Randall? Casey? April? We're ready. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. What's happening? It broke. Guys? Holy crap. <laughs> Donnie, where the heck are we? Well, we're in Dimension X. We're in Dimension X, yes. Home with the dog pound? I wonder if he's a friend or foe. Oh, and the cat strangler? No, the cat beater. Yeah, the cat beater. I wonder if their friends are fo Guys, I think they're foes. Well, there they are. Oh my god. They're... They're giants! What do we have here? The leashes thought to us? Keep them doors. Uh, what is that? The form monstrosity. He's Mr. Quote me the finest turtles you could find. He's Mr. The name's Dog Pound, but they call me The Dog Pound. Because I pound dogs and then I cook them into hot dogs. And then they call me the Cat Pounder because. I pound cats and make them into food. Chinese food, to be exact. Mr. Should I get a cookie my little recipe? Yes, yes, get a cooking. Chop, chop. I'll cook my famous dish. Roast it in its prime. Wait a minute, you need back bind. Louise! Oh my god. I took my famous dish, I roasted it, it's growing. No, but don't forget to sprinkle it in with just a pinch of grime. What are you doing? Well, this is a TV show, right? Right. I'm gonna think about my recipe for cooked 
third door. Uh, guys, I think we're in trouble. Dun, 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 there's nothing I love more. Ah, the recipe sheet for cookie turtle. Let's get to work. I'm crazy about mosquitoes on that piece of butter toast and cookies. Because fans and put the and then a great big roast. Dragon's flesh, not old, not fresh, but it costs a bucket moss. And it comes to you in barrels if you order it by post. I crave the tasty tentacles of octopipe for tea. I love hot dogs, but I love hot fries. Surely you will agree. It's a super recipe. I haven't forgot to mention that it's practically free when you're home cooking your meals. Oh my god. He's actually going to cook us. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. For dinner on my birthday, shall I tell you? Dog pound, take this one. For dinner on my birthday. I told you what I chose. Hot noodles made. Hot noodles made of poodles on a slice of garden hose. And a rather smelly jelly. Made of all hot noodles. The jelly is delicious. But you gotta put your nose. Dun, 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 dun. Take it away, Gatbounder. Now comes the burden of my speech. These foods are rare beyond compare and some are out of reach. But there's no doubt I go with a million plates for each. Because the thing I love most of all is a great, fantastic, juicy, ripe peach. Get the cooking oil and sprinkle in some salt. Get the bread in and bread them all they want. Mm. Add the salt and pepper. Add the tomato sauce. You can't see a thing because I go really fast. It's a super recipe. Cut into the liver. Stop squirming. Take a little piece, shove it into your mouth, and you got a good side dish. Now come a super recipe made from my robots. Let's go. We love helping our chef. Because he is the greatest. We call him the Roberto Moore. We love helping him. And no, 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 no. Body cast. The bucket. So as you can see, these foods are wrong. The these foods are red beyond compare. Uh, let's take it now. And then you set the oven on a good temperature. I cook it. Ah, I cook it all. Go, 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 go. It really does.
it's kind of little when they the sunset. That's a good news. We have a sunset today. And we don't care. We have a sunset. We have a sunset. Not for the song, but we have a sunset. Oh, oh, oh. Now let them throw the boys the rules. In the prime time. And now, we're going to make this rather smelly jelly. Because I really want that toast. Bucket. Compote. Guys, we need to get out here before we actually do cook. Donnie is right. I'm gonna cut the rope. I have a knife. Same here. Oh. The is escaping! What? They won't get away from dog pound and cat pounder. <laughs> Part two. The dog pound. Part two. The cat pounder. No, don't go from here. I'm not as your answer. You got it. Cerebral Duff Turtle. Ah. Ah. Escape in the kitchen now. We're out. Hey guys, Randall. Those things are big. What did that day? We lost our lunch. Doggy. I got him! I got doggy! Take his good Let's cook them and eat them. Half an hour later. Ugh. Um, mm. Ugh. I told you to cook dog steak! Why do you make this foul piece of Goraka dog stop? I'm sorry, Cat Founder. It's just that I don't know how to cook. I don't work in the kitchen like you and your faithful robot Oompa Loompas. Loompas! Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Robots, robots, robots. You don't know how to cook, cook, cook. So now we will escort you out of this kitchen so we can cook in peace. Dun, 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 dun. Now that he is gone, 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 we can, we can work in peace. Yes, now that he's gone. Yeah, bow. Guys, I'm serious. I do not know how we're going to stop those giants. <gasps> I got it. 
when the giants were well the giants were roasting us you know you can't hear anything with the flames yeah i heard them talking about the royal dinner they're cooking for krang they are working for krang my god they're cooking for him yeah Thing is, though, when Krang eats, it's gonna be delicious. We need to swap the recipe that Cat Pounder has made. Make him make the new recipe. Krang's gonna think it tastes horrible. They're gonna get fired. And when you know when someone gets fired with Krang, they get executed. That's ingenious. Randall, you're a sneaky demon. You think you could swap the recipes? Oh, yeah. Need to, you need to get going. He starts cooking in five minutes. Ah, it's swapped. I love working in the kitchen. With my little loompas, add a pinch. Of, oh, according to the recipe book, add two thousand pinches of pepper and nine thousand pinches of salt. It should taste like a muck, delicious and good. Now stir it all. That's weird. I didn't remember putting green herbs in the recipe. I guess whatever the recipe book says goes. Now you mash it all up. I pour according to the book. Add a pinch of human toes. Good thing I have those. Stir it all together. Put it in the oven. The final result. Looks delicious. I'm gonna serve some to Krang. <sighs> Mr. Brain. Yes. May I introduce to you the royal dinner consisting of wine and my newest the recipe, leaf. Salid with a slice of garden hose. Mmm, delicious. Well, everybody gets a plate, even the foot soldiers. So, why don't you put some on my plate? Of course not. This thing is hard as a rock. Doesn't look very yummy. But you have to admit I'm very hungry, so I'll eat whatever goes into my tummy. And the glasses. The wine is pink, not red. But I got to admit, I'm I need to be fed. You see Don Crane and enjoy the meal. The royal dinner will now come here. I love dinner and I love your food. So yes, I'll enjoy it. Yes, too. No, say yes, sir. What the? Okay. Now remember, if it doesn't taste good, you're going to be executed. I'm scared. Oh, don't be. You've got this. Crappy food is one thing I actually enjoy eating. But kind of would consider it caviar. But this looks kind of good. Sloppy. That's basically what I ate as a child. I've had this before, I bet. I just, the name doesn't sound familiar, but the shape does. Ugh, well, two on the wine. Now to taste the food. 
This is what might get you executed. What is this slop you call garden hose? What's in the recipe? I'll show you the recipe. Better show me now. This garbage deserves to be in the trash. I didn't know it turned out bad. Well, it did. And now, if you don't show me what's in the recipe, you will be executed. Yes, sir. So basically what was in the recipe here was salad dressing, salt, 200% salt to pepper, 3, 9,000% Pep salt of a percent of salt. Garden hose, like usual, and human's toes. Are you an idiot or something? <laughs> The next day. Boo! I can be an Eevee made the best, but there's food in the world. Boo! You deserve to die. That's Arthos! What? They ruined the dish. I stole them. Crap, we were spotted by the Loompas. The robot Loompas. We need to go. Oh no, you don't. Hands on, hands behind your backs. Uh, do we need to talk about this? Get in the car. You know what? We'll execute you here in public. I'm getting sick of your bullcrap. And you just almost made me execute my best giant. Mm, well, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Free to go. Guards, release him from the crucifixion cross. We'll switch around the swings, come back out of the south the next few days, moving us back to some sections of the little valley. Come on, dog pounds. Let's go. One turtle at a time on the executions. Come on, come on. They're gonna be rammed by giant. Those giant Santas. Giant Santas? Oh my god. Guys, we need to escape this. No. They almost executed Cat Pounder. He should be the one to ram into them. Good idea, Shredder. Hook. The leader up first. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes, turtle. You shall perish. Wait. My whole body? Well, duh. He'll keep you in line. You know, like the hook, line, and sinker. I don't understand. It's a poem by Edgar Allan Poe. Don't do this. Oh, I am. You, little, belong to me now. I can do anything I want. Wait. Why is this on my neck? Are you dumb or something? I said it goes wraps around your hole. 
I hurt you the first time. I just wonder why it's wearing my neck. Because your neck's going to be the main hair Mosquitoes! Fire! The turtle is bullcrap. So it is here now. I see the perfect execution fit for them. We will place them in the giant prison. You know the one that suffocates people when the walls get too tight? Yes. Put the turtle in one at a time. First, Michelangelo. No. no. It'll take 20 minutes for the walls to shrink. Ah. Uh. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It unraveled. You know what? Fine. Ralph, kill him. Be together forever, Ralph. Yes, dun 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 Dun, dun, dun. Help police get the missing man back on 
I don't know. April 11th, 2017. We put together a family portrait of us with the ghost of Splinter. My brother! Oh. Oh. I shall be back. Oh. Hang on, friend. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Listen, the turtles might have won the fight, but they will lose the war. Now take me home. East of... Oops, that was my helicopter tonight. Oh, oh. That's making me air sick. Landing in Las Vegas. I mean, in the center of the mansion. It's fine. Ever since Randall and Lloyd left Las Vegas. Well, guys, I suggest we did good. Here, here. Hip, hip, hooray. Noise. The end. <laughs>